welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, it's safe to say pretty much all schools are back in session. That is correct. It sounds like everybody's back in in the whole area of Eastern Kentucky. I know, and in all the counties that you guys have offices in, let's just go ahead and remind everybody, watch out, those school buses are back on the road. Absolutely. This is the time to be safe, especially early in the morning and when it's that school release time, you want to be safe on the roads. Speaking of school going back in session, mm -hmm. do you see a spike in people wanting to see houses when school goes back in? And I'm guessing probably because they realize this summer how small their house really is. Sometimes, actually, yes, you do. <laughs> it just depends on whether or not they, uh, you know, have three kids and they ended up with three more this summer because the friends were over, if they've got a pool or whatever happens. But a lot of times after the summer, there are a lot of families looking for a little bit bigger house, a little bit more space, maybe a little bit bigger yard. Okay, well hopefully today we can show them five listings that maybe might meet what they're looking for. That would be great. All right, let's start out with the first listing in Pike County. Now this mm -hmm. one is toward the Belfry area. It is. This one's towards Belfry on 119. This is actually in the McAndrews area, which is Pinson Fork. Okay, now a lot mm -hmm. of people who know that's not far off of Route 119. Not at all, not at all. Uh, if you go through there, you actually look for, um, there's an Octavia Baptist Church sign. Mm -hmm. And uh, last time I was up that way, Pinson Fork actually didn't have a sign, so you have to kind of look for the church sign. Okay. So you take that turn. Now this is this has got four acres of property with this house, so mm -hmm. that's always attractive. Before you ever see the house, it's, oh, we've got land. Exactly, exactly. And it has a nice size yard that's part of that four acres, and it's all fenced. It's a chain link fenced yard. I would say you've got probably a half acre to maybe an acre of flat usable yard. And then the rest, of course, is going to be the hillside acreage that gives you a little bit of privacy. So before we ever get inside the house, I'm mm -hmm. thinking garden. Mm -hmm. A uh, pool, if you ever wanted to put a pool in, lots of opportunities outside before we ever step foot inside this house. Absolutely. And, and on the inside, I see that they've done some updates. They have. They've done a few updates. They um, do have finished attic space. Technically, this is a two-bedroom home. It's an older house. You know mm -hmm. how some of those older ones are built. They may not have closets. They may not have all the amenities typical, but it's a, it's a two-bedroom house, but they have finished attic space on the second floor that is set up as two additional bedrooms. So you have the possibility of a four-bedroom house. And that is great if your family is growing mm -hmm. or you just want extra space. Absolutely. You've got the opportunity to be able to use one big space in your attic or two bedrooms. Exactly. And this is close to 1,700 square feet. So with or without the attic, you have a lot of space in this house. It offers a formal living. It offers a family room. It's got two full bathrooms in it. You have a nice size kitchen, especially for an older home, a very nice size mm -hmm. kitchen. And then it offers a formal dining area. And then I also noticed, and this is a very attractive feature these days, this house mm -hmm. has a metal roof. It does. It does. It has a newer metal roof on it. Um, and then, like I said, it's it's got the chain link fence all the way around. It's got the vinyl siding, put the vinyl siding mm -hmm. on the house. So it does have a lot of those updates. So you're looking at four acres, possible mm -hmm. four-bedroom home, private setting, and all that we just said for $75,000. That's correct. All right, the MLS listing on this one is 105780. So give Jennifer a call. Uh, mm -hmm. This is your listing? This is my listing. You can call the Pockville office. That number is 606 437 2333. All right, now moving on, let's stay in Pike County mm -hmm. from one side of the county down to Lower Johns Creek. Where uh -huh. This next one's going to be. That's correct, and this kind of gets a little bit confusing because the other one's on Pinson Fork, and this one's on Pinson Branch. So we'll make sure that people know the difference. <laughs> and that's why that MLS number is so important. Exactly, exactly. This is one of those prime prime examples. Because it's like you get to the house and this isn't the one that I saw the picture of. And <laughs> exactly. that's those two Pinsons can get confused. Exactly. But this is Pinson Branch. Like you said, it's Lower Johns Creek. If you're familiar with Lower Johns Creek, this is actually very close to the Joe's Creek turn on Lower Johns Creek. Okay, so it's right off of the main, I think that's 194, uh -huh. that goes down that area. Uh -huh. That's correct. 
Now, I see that this house is kind of set off to its side a little bit. Almost it is. a little bit of privacy there. It is. This one, it's got a little bit less than an acre. And if you're looking at the pictures right now, you can see this house is an immaculate house. They have kept this house up so amazingly well. Um, it is a brick ranch. And like you said, it sits off a little bit. It, it does sit on the main road, but it does, the way they've got it, sitting on the lot, it has a lot of privacy for it. And I see that it's pretty spacious. You've got three bedrooms, mm -hmm. two and a half bathrooms. That's correct. And then it offers partial finished basement. You have a huge family room down there with a fireplace. And then the other side is actually unfinished use of storage. When you say basement, I know a lot of times we think of the older basements where it's got some issues and you have trouble mm -hmm. walking and that this is a basement, a true basement. You have tons of room down there and it's done right. It's done so you have a lot of space. And a lot of potential. Yes. And I'd say that w makes a home more attractive to a potential buyer is to be able to buy a house but yet still have some of that space that you can make your own. Exactly, exactly. And this has tons of usable space in it. Okay, and I, I'm just seeing too, we've got a garden space outside. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you're appealing to your, your people that want to be out in the country just a little bit and you know get back and grow your own vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. a very attractive home from what I'm seeing. This is, this is. It's got tons of updates, a sunroom on it. This has a lot of amenities. This is definitely one if you're looking for that area to look at. This one also has a metal roof, but I noticed mm -hmm. it also has a new septic system. So it that's does. one worry you can mark off your list. Exactly, which is big. <laughs> that is a big one. And all the things that we just told you about for $178,000 on mm -hmm. Lower Johns Creek, Pinson Branch. Now we talked about the MLS number and why that's so important. And here is that MLS number. It's 105759. That's all you have to remember to tell Jennifer when you call her or if they want to email you. Absolutely. Either way, you can always email jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, let's move into the city of Pikeville. Okay. This one's one that we have talked about before, but I understand they've made a reduction on this house. They have. This is when it gets okay for me to say we have motivated sellers because they are showing it themselves through the price reduction. They have reduced this price down to 320, which okay. is a huge reduction on this house. Now, what the house we're talking about now that your eyebrows are up and mm -hmm. your interest is peaked is on Honeysuckle Drive, which is just off Cedar Creek Road in Pikeville. Correct. Correct. And this is a great location. You're not on Main Cedar Creek. Creek, but you have all the conveniences of being on Main Cedar Creek because you're right there on one of the side roads. And one thing about Cedar Creek that if you've ever driven through there that's so attractive is people walk their dogs or their strollers Absolutely. and and the neighbors are always talking to each other and it seems like a very friendly uh, community that's so easily accessible to everything that Pikeville has to offer. Exactly, exactly. One of my favorite things about Cedar Creek is that you now kind of attach to Bob Amos Park and some of the trails up there off of Cedar Creek. So it's really nice if you like to walk the dog and that kind of stuff, you've got access to all that. I completely forgot about the mm -hmm. new walking trails up there. So, you know, you never know how you can create your own way up there to where <laughs> exactly. you can get all the way to Bob Amos Park on foot there if you you're so inclined. If you're so inclined. <laughs> <laughs> but on the inside of this house, well, I mean, mm -hmm. we're looking at four bedrooms, two and a half bath, nice size home. Oh yes, this is almost 3,300 square feet of finished living space. And this is one of those houses that has a lot of space, but everything is so usable in this house. They have wasted no corner of this house. So you've got, like you said, the four bedrooms, two and a half baths. You do have a sunroom off the back that uses office space, mm -hmm. or it kind of faces the backyard with a large patio back there. So it's great if you've got kids, if you've got pets, anything like that. You can keep an eye on everything in the backyard. And they do have a backyard with a privacy fence. So you have you know, if you ever wanted to put in a pool or something like that, you have that ability. And you have the space to do so. Absolutely. And a lot of updates. I mean, I see that they've updated their electrical system. They've mm -hmm. put new hardwood down, new light fixtures. Yep. They've put some love into this new house. New roof, new gutters, new doors. Yeah, this one has all the updates. So it's ready to go, ready for a buyer. And it has just been reduced to $320,000. So give Jennifer a call in the Pikeville office. That number once again? That number is 606-437-2333. And don't forget to tell her that MLS number is 104973. All you have to do is tell them that number. They'll pull that location up and get your schedule. Sounds good. Okay, now. This one's also in the city of Pikeville, mm -hmm. and when we tell you this, this is not a mistake in our script. Yes, there's a house <laughs> in the city of Pikeville with eight acres of property. Correct. 
Now this one is going uptown Mountain Road. Uh huh. This is going uptown Mountain Road. Uh, sits uh, if you're going uptown Mountain Road from town, it's going to sit on your right. Um, mm -hmm. We've actually got a pointer sign right down there at the bottom, off of Town Mountain, pointing up the hill. Um, it does sit kind of up on a hill, but like you said, it's got eight acres, and it is privacy with eight acres in the city of Pikeville. And it's a very spacious home. I mean, you're looking at 2,300 square feet. Mm -hmm. And if you're if you're familiar with this area where the log cabin restaurant used to be, mm -hmm. we're kind of up behind that. On Correct. The hill. Correct. You you can stand out on the deck of this house and pretty much you're looking down on the roof, so you're right there. And I've actually been up to this house before in mm -hmm. years past, and I thought when I went up there before, man, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now it's for sale. Exactly, exactly. And there's a lot more space, like you said a few minutes ago when we were going through everything, there's a lot more space up there that's usable than you would think. You know, you have the eight acres, most of which is hillside, and which mm -hmm. allows you to have that privacy, but you have room for four, five, six cars, you have a little yard space, you have storage space, so there's a lot more usable space than we would ever think. And a lot of times you don't have that with a house that may be up on the side of a hill. Parking, mm -hmm. turning uh, is an issue if you have multiple drivers right, at right. your house, but that's not an issue here. No, not at all, not at all. And the good thing about this is that location, if you like to get outdoors and you like to bird watch mm -hmm. or you want to hang your, your feeders or watch the wildlife. I mean, I know there's deer. I know there's yes. a couple of people that lived there before. They had deer in their backyard. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like one hide. that I've actually gotten scared by a deer in the backyard, not knowing it was there for a showing. So I can attest there are deer there. <laughs> you know, and the, and the look, we're talking about this, and in your mind you're thinking, oh, this is a country setting. This is a contemporary mm -hmm. home. It is. It's a little bit of a contemporary style. Like you said, it's a four bedroom, two bath. You do have two bedrooms on the first floor and then two bedrooms on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So depending on, you know, the size of your family or if you want to have older kids upstairs or however you'd want to do it, this house has a lot of possibilities, a lot of options. Well, I know wheels are turning on this house, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, and this one's also just recently been reduced. Yes, it's been reduced. It's down to 189. Um, they are motivated to sell it. And like I said, this is one you really, really have to see to believe. The MLS number on this one, 105273. Now, the address on this one when you call is the house on Blair Street, which is just off of Town Mountain Road. And they'll be glad to, to schedule you and take you right to it. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> now, let's close out the show going a little bit of a different route instead mm -hmm. of homes we got land. We do. We have a farm. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is one. I've had this listing for a little bit. Um, this one, they've just reduced the price, and then I was looking at it, and I decided that this would be the perfect opportunity to make sure that we hit this one and let everybody in this area know that it was available, because this kind of property does not come available a lot. Right, especially when I'm getting ready to say, this is 126 acres on Lower Johns Creek. Yeah. Now people are just going, wow. This property, again, I know the pictures are showing on the screen, but if you have an interest in acreage, this is one, call us and let us take you out to this property, because this is one that you really have to see it to put it in perspective, how mm -hmm. large it is and what all is there that you could do with, depending on what your need was. Well, you said there's bottom land, mm -hmm. so where you could, if you wanted to plant crops, but then there's some flats. Correct. So if you wanted to develop that at some point, maybe yep. put a house or a cabin or anything else that you want to do is right there. Yep, yep. You have the options to do whatever, and then you mentioned something about hunting land and all that. If you mm -hmm. didn't want to develop it, it easily could also be used for hunting and farming and, and that kind of stuff and not worry about the building. Well, it is this time of year to where mm -hmm. anybody who does <laughs> do some hunting is, is getting itchy. Right. Um, and there, there's elk in this area, too. Uh -huh. Lower Johns Creek's known for its elk population. It's very healthy deer population yep. and all the other animals if you, if you like to hunt and you're just looking for some acreage I, the price is right on this one for absolutely. 126 acres absolutely and, and one of the other things that we didn't mention we say lower johns creek that can go a long way it can. this is actually only three miles from the johns creek fire department yeah if you're familiar with where cohalo road is this property isn't on cohalo road but it starts right after that that's kind of a good marker to give people if you're on johns creek traveling from the johns creek to fire department mm -hmm. cohalo road will come up on your left this property starts right after that and it literally goes a mile down 194. It goes to the end of a ridge. There is a concrete bridge. Um, mm -hmm. It's locked, so nobody can cross it without calling us for an appointment. And Jennifer, the price on this is only $195,000. That's correct. So definitely give Jennifer a call if you're interested in some acreage, whether you want to build one house or four or five homes, <laughs> whether you want to farm 
or you just want it for hunting property, which is what I would do. <laughs> uh, but give Jennifer a call. Let's run through your number and your email address one more time. Okay. The number in Pikeville is 606-437-2333. And my email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, well, hopefully we've given you some ideas of things you want to look at and you've got your wheels turning so you know how to get a hold of Jennifer. Jennifer, we finished with our five listings, and I'm going to step out and let you do your Real Estate Minute. When is the perfect time to buy a home? I wish there was a perfect time, but frankly, it just doesn't exist. Multiple things come into play when deciding the right time for you to purchase a home. Know your personal finances. Speak to accountants, lenders, and other professionals to decide when the best time would be for your family to start the purchasing process. If you're looking to sell a home and to purchase another, speak to lenders and make sure you know how the deal must be completed. Can you purchase a home without your current home selling? Or is your current home selling a necessity before purchasing? Finally, pay attention to the market not just the local housing market, but also to the national markets, including interest rates. As you may have seen on national news, many experts are predicting interest rates will start rising around the last quarter of this year. If that's correct, now is a great time to contact Ray Brown and Williams about buying your new home. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. We hope to see you again next time.